All right, now let's uh, move on to something that's intentionally supposed to be funny, but isn't. Uh, but I guess kind of lighthearted. Uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard, starring uh, Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. Um, let me get to the wiki page in case I need it. Uh, so, yeah, where to start here? Um... I guess for starters, uh, I didn't like the movie. Um, I uh, saw it at a pre-screening uh, the week it was coming out, so um, yeah, I managed to managed to get away from that fine. So n no no wrongdoings there. But yeah, this this movie was kind of a big disappointment for me and. It's a shame because it's got, like, two of Hollywood's most bankable stars. Uh. Yeah. Um, I guess the main problem I have, uh, one of the main problems I have with it is that it, it doesn't really know when to stop. Uh, it, yeah, there, there are a lot of moments where it doesn't know when to stop being sort of a pissing contest between... Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson. Um, not to the point of, like, uh, say, uh, Baywatch with Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron. It's not that bad, but it still... It, it still doesn't really garner that much humor as much as I wanted it to be. Because the trailers... The, the trailers were really funny. Um, uh, I mean, the... The, the the scene with the nuns on a bus would have been it, it would have been a really uh it, it it would have had some pretty good comical moments in it but what you see in the trailers is pretty much the entire scene like the and also there 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 were a lot of moments where the pacing just doesn't really work like when it got to the point where they finally, because uh, uh, throughout the film, it's uh, Ryan Reynolds has to uh, was a top of the line, uh, was a top of the line bodyguard, and uh, but then after losing one person, uh, he ends up getting demoted and is trying to climb his way back up, and you know one of his big tasks now is to protects this hitman who is uh in needs to deliver his confession on russian gary oldman villain because why not um so sam jackson is needed to be delivering a confession to get gary oldman arrested and um you know, at some point, Selma Hayek appears as Jackson's wife, which, you know, they do show... And that's the one thing that I didn't like about the trailer, is that they show one of the final shots in the movie, which is, uh, you know, Sam Jackson and Selma Hayek dancing in that bar, and I'm like, really? Like, I, I would have assumed it would have been in the flashback scene, but you know... They, they kind of get gave that as a dead away that he's going to be fine. Um, and also, the, the third act of this just went on way too long. Like, uh, there's a scene where Sam Jackson is finally there and he's giving his confession and you think, okay, wrap it up. No, that's not what happens. It's Instead, Gary Ullman decides, like, I confess to everything and I admit that this is the truth. Or some bullshit like that. And then... Truck hits the protesters in front of the courthouse. So I'm like... Oh no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop the movie, please. And it just keeps on going for for so long. And... You know, it ends with uh, Sam Jackson just chasing Gary Oldman onto the roof. And then... Yeah, it's pretty much where it goes from there. You know where it's gonna go from there. It's just, if it had ended, like, 20 minutes early, then it would have been okay at best, but it just, 
it's just not a f it's just not an enjoyable film like it, it doesn't really have that many jokes that land and well the action is on one hand the action is fine but it's nothing really impressive uh especially compared to some of the ac other action films that these two have done Yeah, I think that's all I gotta say is that Hitman's bodyguard, not really that great. Ugh.